Hey everybody, today's video I'm going to cover how to remove the front fascia on a 2020 through 2022 Shelby GT500. Here we go! So I've done this a handful of times now with my mishap and for various other reasons. Um, getting pretty proficient at it now. I'm going to take my time, go through this step by step. I'm going to show uh, screenshots of the workshop manual. But uh, basically, in order to get the front fascia off, uh, you got to get the car up in the air, get the uh, wheels and tires off. You're going to remove the fender liners, the splitters, splitter wickers, the under closeout panel, um, and a bunch of fasteners, the electrical connections for the uh, parking lights, um, uh, bolts and push pins uh, throughout. Uh, it talks about removing it with uh, a helper, you know, help grab the uh, fascia with a helper. I've done it by myself every time, so you can do this all by yourself. Uh, it does take a while the first time you're working through it, but hopefully this video will help you. Got the car in the air, gonna use a 1316 socket to remove the uh, lug nuts on the front. If your car has splitter wickers, you're gonna need to take those off. That is a uh, T30 or a 30 Torx bit. Um, up top or on the side there, as well as on the bottom, you've got uh, these fasteners here and that, uh, if I remember correctly, is seven millimeter right there. It was uh, seven millimeter. There's also uh, this uh, behind the splitter wicker and this one above the splitter wicker that needs to come out. Torque, uh, our T30 torque spit. Next up, fender liner needs to come out. Uh, if you got the uh, flaps, you gotta get all the uh, push pins out there. Um, push pins all over up here on the uh, fender liners. Right there, right there, up here. Hidden back up over here. Uh, there's uh, there's three actually that's behind my uh, flap here. There's one back here, right up there. Um, just uh, get all those out. There's a few here right around the brake duct. Um, there's one right down here that hooks to the uh, splitter. Um, just get all those out and put the uh, fender liner aside. Got all the push pins removed, just gotta yank the uh, fender liner out. I got my light set up to help me see in the fender. Uh, I'm using a uh, push pin removal tool here, trim tools. Uh, they come in plastic too, I just have a metal set for better, better leverage. Uh, and a little screwdriver to help get them started. But uh, a lot of hidden fasteners are on there, make sure you get them all and then just pull the fender liner out. You also have to get this Torx bit uh, bolt out here that uh, is connected to the fender liner, holds that in there. So I'm going a little out of order just because I've got my car on the lift and uh, I've got it at a height where I can reach a lot of stuff right now and I'm gonna go higher later. Uh, next up for me is I remove these, uh, this is for your parking lamps. Um, there is a red slider here that unlocks and then this can be a bit of a bugger to get off. I use a needle nose pliers to pinch. There's a uh, little lever on the inside here that uh, releases the lock on that. I use needle nose pliers to pinch that to get the uh, wire uh, connector apart there. And then also up here, these are 10 millimeters. This is inside connecting your your uh, front fender to the front, or uh, yeah, fender to the front fascia. Um, two 10 millimeter bolts, and then right there, that guy is just a push pin. Once you get the bolts out, just push that back out through. So here is a connector to the parking lamp. Um, this red slider right here, which is up and unlocked right now, you want that up towards the uh, wire harness itself. And then, like I said, I use a needle nose pliers, which I don't have a third hand to hold right now, but I use that to squeeze. You gotta get this little kind of uh, lever right there pressed in, which my thumbnail's on right there. You gotta get that in for it to release. And that comes off from that uh, connector right there. 
After getting these two 10 millimeter bolts out, um, this push pin, you just push it down. It's connected to the uh, front fascia. So you just push that down and I need two hands to do that. Maybe, yeah, I need two hands. Or you can put a flat head on there and just use that for a little bit of leverage to uh, push it down through the hole. I got the car up higher in the air now. It's time to remove the bottom pieces. Uh, we got to remove the bottom piece of the splitter uh, to get access to remove the uh, lower closeout panel there. The splitter itself has uh, those T30 Torx bits. The um, bits are the uh, connections on the closeout are seven millimeter, except for right there, that last one in the middle is a push pin. Leave that in until the end. That's gonna hold it up while you're taking everything out. Got all the Torx bits out. Now hidden behind uh, these four plugs here, one, two, three, four, our seven millimeter bolts up in there, those have to come out as well. After you get these four hidden bolts out there behind the plugs, uh, the lower piece of the splitter just slides aft towards the trunk and that whole bottom section comes out. Now that the lower piece of the splitter's out, you can see the uh, forward bolts are holding the closeout panel in position. A uh, bunch of these guys all the way across the front, those are also seven millimeter. Okay, once you get all these bolts off the front here, don't forget there's one there's one back there, each corner here as well. Once you get all those out, uh, there's a couple more right there that were hidden. Get those out, get all your, set, those are uh, Torx, uh, our T30 Torx bits. Get all your seven millimeter uh, connections out back here. And then the last one you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this down at your push pin in the back, just uh, forward of your uh, oil drain plug and the whole closeout will come down. Got all the bottom pieces removed. Uh, your choice whether you want to move the top piece of the splitter itself. Um, you can leave it in there, just protect it or take it off, prevent uh, any scraping scratches. Back up on the top side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight millimeters. These are 5.5 millimeters, these little guys on the end. Um, and that's it. If you have a tow hook like I do, you gotta get that off as well. Um, and uh, then remember, we gotta finish pushing these uh, push pins out. Um, we remove those 10 millimeter uh, bolts from the backside. So this is what it looks like with that uh, push pin disconnected at the fender connection. All the fasteners are now removed. Um, now the workshop manual says use a buddy to help uh, move this. It's, it's not that bad. Just uh, watch, you know, this part here coming through headlights and scratching. Um, but it's pretty easy. You gotta lift it up over all these little pins right here. And I need two hands to do that. There we go, front fascia is removed. Putting the front fascia back on, you actually start with the front fascia. Uh, hanging on, there's little uh, pins to help hold it in place there. Um, the workshop manual talks about using two people. I, I do it just with one person. Well, that's it. That's how to remove the front fascia off of 2020 through 2022 Shelby GT500. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.